Hey, neighbor, welcome back to Beyond AR TV. My name is John. It's time for our annual tradition of unwrapping my Spotify wrapped, my most streamed music of the year on the most popular streaming service of all years. I'm a little bit late reacting to this. Spotify has been nudging me consistently on mobile and desktop again this year, which I'm glad they've added that back. But look, I got sick over Thanksgiving. I know that I sound like a stuffed turkey right now. Steam coming out of my ears? No, it couldn't even dream of it because I can't hear anything right now. And uh, the last time I tried to film this, I got a nosebleed. Hello, ERTV. It's rap time. Ready? Let's absolutely fucking go. Are they mocking me right now? Are you mocking me, Spotify, knowing that I can't even hear myself think? I listened to 107 genres, but how did my taste stack up? Probably not so great because I also can't taste even though it's not COVID. We've got a sandwich. We've got everything else that I would love to probably have right now. But instead, we've got my top genres here. What a nice looking sandwich of rock, pop punk, indie rock, pop, and POV indie? POV Indie, is that a genre? POV, you're watching a YouTuber talk about their Spotify wrapped. This year, your listening took you places, as it always does. I have to move when I hear the music. In one place, listen just like you. Burlington, USA. Burlington, Vermont. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, there's a New York Times article about this. Why does Spotify wrapped think my sound town is Burlington, Vermont? That's hilarious. It actually kind of makes sense for me because I have family roots in a Burlington, not Vermont per se, but a Burlington. Apparently there people are far more likely to be fans of people like Mags and Mama, so it sounds like a cool place to hang out. I played over 8,500 songs in 2023. That sounds a little low, but my top song was Love From The Other Side, the edited version, of course, 22 songs but I had room in my heart for more than one favorite. I know, I'm just, I'm a romantic. What can I say, Spotify? What else did I have room for in that little heart of mine? My top songs, Love From The Other Side, Fall Out Boy, Running Out Of Time by Paramore, Kisses by Slow Dive, You First by Paramore, and Figure Eight by Paramore. Holy shit, people are gonna give me hell for this. Okay, listen, I can explain, okay? I know I gave the album a three out of five and that for some of you, it was an apocalypse moment because it felt like your entire worldview was crumbling. But let me assure you right now, I still love Paramore as a band. And in fact, I was not lying when I said that the songs that I love on this album, I fucking love. Do I wish there was way more variety and representation here? Absolutely. But I want you to keep in mind that this only tracks through, I believe, sometime in October for Spotify Wrapped each year. And I tend to do a lot of catch-up listening every November for your enlist season. And it's just unfortunate because, of course, these songs, for the most part, other than Kisses, came out at the start of the year and they had way more of an opportunity for me to hear them. Don't forget to save my Best of 2023 playlist as we're reminded of my top songs 2023. I'll revisit that. Time is a construct, but we kept track anyways. You listened for five, 50, hold on, 53,846 minutes. That's 37 days nonstop, which I'm sure looks like rookie numbers to some of you, boo-hoo. That's actually a, a decent amount. I'm comfortable with that. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. I wonder what that number would be if I factored in vinyl and CDs and YouTube and everything all together. I just I wish there was a way that AI could make that happen for me. It looks like I peaked on September 2nd with 504 minutes. Wow, that's, that's pretty impressive numbers, guys. I, I was in the top 4% of listeners, too. I know you want to give me a pat on the back, but let me pop a little hole in my balloon here and let you know that this day, it's a little bit inflated because I was having to make up for some scrabbles or else I felt like I had to. This is actually why I ended up quitting Last FM because I was like, why do I care about this? I listened to almost 1,700 artists, but one came out on top. Any guesses? Let me take a guess right now based on everything that I've seen. I'm going to guess that Paramore might come out on top, although... I have an inkling that Radiohead and Green Day are going to be up there too. Radiohead, wow, say hello to your top artist. I'm actually uh, pleasantly surprised by that. I'm not like super surprised because I know I made several videos on them, 
but I actually found myself coming back to them even after I ranked their entire discography, made a top 10 songs, and also did that video that nobody watched that we won't talk about. I'm pretty stoked on that. I'm a top 1% fan. I spent over 1200 minutes with them that just that feels like some sad boy hours it got me through some shit man i'm feeling like i'm on the other side of it i couldn't get enough of weird fishes you're absolutely right i never get enough of those weird fishies or the arpeggi and uh yeah i guess that's me delivering my fan mail right there cooking up something special with my faves on huh? with my top artists this is how i spent my time with them across the year with Radiohead, it was spread out pretty extremely between like, uh, you know, the early parts of the year when I was listening for rank. That's actually pretty cool. It looks like an infrared map. And then over on the left side, I was definitely listening throughout that sad boy summer. And wow, it was, you notice that kind of rounding off? That's kind of cool. We can see my depression falling in real time. <laughs> that's fucking amazing. That's, 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 that, that's literally like you can see. But the, you could just trace the outlines of my anxiety. Oh, it's a roller coaster. We're going down. Paramore were up next, and that kind of looks like the sun. It looks like a sun out of a uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Holy shit. Fallout Boy number three. Yeah, I could have predicted that based on my top songs. I definitely listened to Love from the Other Side a lot. I'm interested in seeing what number four would be if we actually go that far. We do. Blink 182. That definitely makes sense with their new album, the hype around that. I was revisiting a lot of their albums leading up to One More Time, and I definitely peaked in September with them. And number five was Queens of the Stone Age, rocking with the dudes, of course, after the release of their newest album in Time's New Roman. I love the way this looks wicked psychedelic. It totally blends with their vibe. And of course, peaking in June when the album came out, I was on vacation. It all makes sense. We lean on our faves in times of uncertainty, but hold up. Someone's on the other line. Is it love from the other side? If anyone cares, my top podcast was Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. Uh, yeah. What color do we like? Oh, yeah, that looks good. So we got Radiohead out on top. 53,000 minutes in the bag just on Spotify. My top genre looking like rock. Who would have guessed? But I've got one other thing that I think we should check. Oh, just outside. I hate that escapism didn't quite get there. That would have been cool to see with Ray and 070 Shake. That song is fantastic. Fail You by Movements. Days Move Slow by Bully. More Than You Know by Blink. And Sub by Deeper. Shout out to that Chicago post-punk band. That's a look at the top 10, but I'm curious what's even outside of that. We have Men I Trust just missing the top 10. I, I'm not surprised that that was very close. We've definitely got some familiar names here with uh, Shame, The Fall of Paul in the top 25. We've got Wild by Spoon, which I hate myself for accidentally omitting on last year's best songs list. It should have been in my top five. Sins by Mags, an absolute fucking banger. Sleepwalker by Ava Max, Smiley, Pierce the Veil, Temples, Movements, Better Lovers, lots of slow dive and Depeche Mode and Boy Genius. Definitely a lot of good shit in here. Some smaller artists like Clementine, shout out to those guys, and Tiny Meat Gang, Jane Remover. Wow, it's interesting to see the variety here. The first half of this year, I will admit that I dragged my feet a little bit when it came to checking out new releases, even of the singles variety, but I had that fire start back up for singles and individual songs in particular start coming around the end of summer. And since then, I've been going at a bit of a rabid pace. And my playlist for best songs of the year expanded from like 220 to 550 now in just like three or four months. So go give that a follow. Thank you for watching my Spotify wrapped. Let me know your top five artists of the year or anything else you want to share in the comments. And I'll see you next time.